What's up boys and girls, so Kingdom Chapter 779 is officially out. Let's get straight into it. So this chapter begins by flashing back a tiny bit to when Shin is still chasing Roboku. Once again, getting so close before he clashes with Fute, the nuisance. What's really cool here is that whereas Shin in the past struggled when Fute drew close, he has now leveled up to a point of great, or at least decent mastery of Oki's glaive. As acknowledged by Fute, it then goes on to touch on Ohan's instinct once again. With him being able to deduce that his weird feeling is indeed coming from Xiao's left wing, who has not made any movements, despite being in close proximity to Shin's chase with Roboku, meaning that Roboku's escape was deliberate, and as that is said, the Xiao's central army and the Seika army begin to move. Next, we then get to the part where we left off at the end of last chapter, except now we see that awaiting Shin and his soldiers is a small fortress made seemingly of dirt walls constructed by, of course, Riboku. And so Riboku successfully escapes inside, before Shin then calls for his unit to surround the place. To be honest, it's pretty cool to see Shin give out these small commands. Moving on, we cut to inside the castle where Riboku and Fute talk about Shin's growth into a fearsome opponent. Someone who has always been important in changing the flow of battle between Chin and Xiao in all their wars. It is truly epic that Riboku has now acknowledged General Rishin of the He Shin unit, in his words, as someone that needs to be eliminated before anyone else. Riboku then goes on to explain his true plan, which was to use himself as the ultimate bait to occupy Shin with the prospect of his head and keep him away from the real battlefield in mission, which is to get Osun's head. The chapter then cuts to the man who would fulfill this mission for Shao, Shibisho, who was finally setting out for the battlefield. All in all, this chapter was mega hype and the war is just getting started. The hype meter is only going to increase with every chapter. It seems as though at this moment we once again see Riboku outsmart Shin and Chen, while sending out an even greater version of Hoken in Shiba Show by occupying the only person capable of dueling Shiba Show in Shin. Also, Roboku's Dirt Fortress has to have something else to it. Some type of escape tunnel or hidden contraptions. I mean, it's Roboku. Anyway, look out for Chapter 780, which should be a banger, whether we see Shiba Show in action or Shin pull off something crazy against Roboku. There is no break next week, so I'll see you guys next week.